So let's demonstrate the different filter types that you can easily realize with the RLC box and let's start with a classical RC low pass filter. You will always for every filter see in the background the circuit diagram and a simulation of the frequency response in LT Spice. And down on the left you can see the real signal with a logarithmic frequency sweep coming from a function generator and then the output displayed on a digital oscilloscope. And the reason why the LT Spice frequency response and the one on, on the oscilloscope look different is that in LT Spice you usually have on the Y axis a logarithmic dB display, but I can't get the oscilloscope to display in dB, so we have to get away with a linear oscilloscope display. So you can see the classical response with a roll-off of 6 dB per octave or a factor of 2 in amplitude or level for each factor of 2 in frequency. Okay, next is the high pass filter and for that we keep the switch settings and only have to exchange the leads. By the way, the red lead here is coming from the frequency generator, that is the input, and the yellow one goes out, is the output going to the oscilloscope, and the two black ones are, is the common connection usually connected also to ground. And you can see the opposite behavior. So as you may know, a low-pass or high-pass filter consisting only of a resistor and a capacitor, as we have seen in the two simulations or demonstrations beforehand, has a roll-off of 6 dB per octave, which translates to a factor of 2 decrease or increase in amplitude per doubling of the frequency. Or you quite often also find a minus 20 dB roll-off per decade, and 20 dB is also a factor of 10 in level or amplitude for a factor of 10 in frequency. But sometimes you need steeper filters and because we have inductance and capacitance we can just simply build an LC, not an RC, an LC low pass or high pass filter. And we'll start with an LC low pass filter and as you can see, the roll-off is much steeper. It has double the roll-off rate for 12 dB per octave or 40 dB per decade. And let's change again the components to make an LC high-pass filter. And that looks like this. So, and here is our high-pass filter. And it looks exactly, or nearly exactly, like the simulation in LT Spice. So next is a bandpass filter. Again, the picture on the oscilloscope screen doesn't completely match the simulation. That's simply due to the different scaling of the two of the diagram in LT Spice and the oscilloscope. So and the opposite is of course a band stop filter. And that looks like this. And you can see beautifully here the effect of the band stop filter. Again we can change the Q factor with the resistor and the center frequency again with the setting of the inductor or capacitor.